Welcome to the Onexian Moon Pound 1.0. It is so immersive you'll think that you're actually in space. Spoilers guys, that's because you are. That's right, welcome to my happening compound. Come on in, I'll give you the very brief tour as is customary with my people. I got my airlocks controlling the oxygen flowing in and out. I got my lovely parlor, parlor, la, 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 parlor. This is the oxygen wing uh, in this little biome bubble thing. Here's where I store all my oxygen. You can kind of see it flickering behind me. It is rapidly gaining oxygen and outputting it into the surrounding area. And finally, this is going to be my power room, guys. Uh, spoilers, all my power is coming from one little cube. As is customary with me, though, it is self-sufficient. I have four super-powered solar panels outside. And as you can no doubt tell, I've set up turrets on all four corners and chain link fence, complete with magnum torches around the perimeter. Case point guys, there is no one getting in here. The magnum torches prevent things from spawning. If anything does make it through, the dang rail guns have been eating people up. Uh, from about this range right here, they're pretty freaking awesome. Unfortunately, they are chewing through the ammo. But yeah guys, look at this. I got these things fully slammed full. They were anyway. I got them recycling add-ons, which reduce the chance of them to use ammo by 20%. Apparently when it shoots, it also has a chance to gain ammo. So there you go. I got four stacks of accuracy because they're real guns. And I have two or four stacks of range. Uh, that's eight blocks. It goes roughly out here. Uh, the thing is the magnum torches is preventing them from spawning. I was trying to figure out a way to automate the turret loading. I could have got like uh, wireless receivers and automatically fed it like the slugs. But some of these were chewing through the ammo guys. I was like, well, I'd rather have him as like a last point defense rather than an actual base defense option because they're loud. And you can't actually control the sound by changing the friendly creatures. I changed it down to one, but I could still hear them. I have fence. There's nothing getting close to me. If anything spawns here, guys, it's done. I really love how this turned out. Uh, by the way, if you've not seen me building it and you're like, oh snap, you built something else pretty cool without me. Uh, I will show you the Let's Play video in the bottom right corner now. By all means, click on it. If not, you aren't missing very much. I messed up. Go away, ugliness. Uh, it's just pretty much me commentating over the top of a five hour build. It took forever. My problem is I changed my mind a ton. I'm not going to get too much into it because some people probably already watched it. But man, at one point in time, points, the entire floor was that gray stuff, was the entire outside. This was all gray. But the problem is you can imagine that kind of mesh with the background. So guys, this is pretty cool. By going with white, it looks very future techy. I got some trees. I got some crops. It looks, it just looks very clean, doesn't it? Uh, to control oxygen going in and out, I have air seals. You basically put the airlock frames like a portal. I think it could be a bunch of different sizes. And then you put a controller down at the bottom or anywhere really. And you could kind of customize what you wanted to do. If you wanted it to open when you get close or a switch or maybe only open for certain players. It goes in. I don't know if you still need two. Back in the day you need one to close behind you and one to open. Uh, unfortunately guys, I could not get the actual controller block to work. It's called an oxygen controller. And what happens is you pump oxygen and power into it and it detects your space. Like it detects the rooms and it fills them full of oxygen. I don't think it plays well with carpenter blocks. I could not get it to work. I even sealed it off but the moment I put down carpenter blocks it refused to acknowledge that this was an enclosed space. Uh, everything else is glass. Maybe it was the quartz glass. Point is it wouldn't work guys. So what I did, very clever of me, I just put the oxygen things beneath the floors guys I'm pumping oxygen into it and I didn't need this dynamic glass I'm sure there was other ways of storing uh, oxygen more but I kinda wanted a big oxygen tank the problem is these little dinky things don't hold very much and the problem is otherwise that mechanism does not hold anything other than fluids there is a way to convert oxygen to fluids using mechanism the rotary condenser takes oxygen so I have my things outside generating oxygen it turns it into liquid oxygen, pumps it in there, and stores it. You get where I'm going with this, guys? Good. I have one on top, sucking it back out. Uh, right now, it's using it about as quick as I, as I need it. Actually, probably more. These things are probably shutting down. So I actually need a little bit more liquid oxygen. Uh, dang, I'm flying so quick, it's spazzing. Dun -dun 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 -dun. 
But yeah, I got my little foyer. This is nice, guys. This is very nice. Very nice. I don't know what my obsession with leaf blocks are. Oh, I love this. I love how this turned out. This is awesome. Unfortunately, as soon as I got this built, a meteor fell down and hit it. Uh, another thing you could do, guys, if you're not generating enough oxygen on the moon, like this setup, because it's highly ineffective, uh, I went ahead and just got one set up on Earth to do the same thing. Well, it isn't really Earth, is it? It's kind of the aroma mining dimension. Uh, let's get the lag spike out of the way. Uh, I just got a bunch of these set up, pumping oxygen. And I am turning it to liquid, and I'm sending it via the test rack. So I'm basically just pumping oxygen from here because I couldn't keep up. Also, I messed up again because I forgot to connect this one. Uh, I wonder if this will actually keep up. Is it keeping up? No, it's still actually going down. Uh, here, let's make some more real quick. I'd never want my base running out of oxygen. I also made some ender IO fluid oxygen thingy things. Uh, I need to feed it liquid emeralds. There you go. Please, by all means. Uh, let's get like five. Okay, and now I should never have to worry about oxygen again, I hope. Uh, what I do with my wand? Man, Draconic Revolution, guys. I don't know if I said this before, but it is very quickly becoming my favorite mod. Uh, well, problem is it's in-game, isn't it? So it's kind of hard to use. But man, it is fantastic. Ender IO being number one for me. Uh, a lot of my base runs on Ender IO technology, guys. Without Ender IO, I really have no idea what I would do. And Applied Energetics is probably like a second or a third. Uh, that spot is kind of conflicted at the moment. So are all these running now? Bam, bam, bam. I forgot the middle one. But this should be pumping out oxygen. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. I was on the moon. I was trying to get it to, uh, to get enough oxygen, right? And I was like, shoot, this isn't working. What else can I do? And it suddenly hit me. It's like, dude, you live on a planet with nothing but oxygen. Why don't you just pump it in there? So these things are rapidly pumping out oxygen. It's rapidly being sent. It looks like it's actually gaining now. So what we should be able to see is we should be able to go back to the moon. Uh, and everything should be fine. Yeah, it's gaining. Good! Oh, so the oxygen distributors are kind of doing what the broom things would have. There's a few blind spots like right here. There's no oxygen. But for the most part, though, I'm not using it anymore, which is really, really nice. So, guys, the moon base is done. I did not think I would build it like this, but here we are. Uh, also, it was very expensive. The sun is coming up. It is nighttime here for a very long time, which is why I went ahead and spent a thousand bajillion gold and monies on magnum torches because these things were just chewing through the ammo. Man, what range do these things prevent things from spawning? Because this is huge. I mean, they were spawning on top of me, and now they're just not. Magnum torches, guys. Very potent. So, right now, I need to, unfortunately, go out there and space on the moon somewhere and find the dungeon because we need to build the next tier of rocket, guys. We need to get ready to go on an epic adventure. Uh, to do the epic adventuring. It's so miserable over here, isn't it? Look, it's like the village is overran with, like, creepers and zombies and stuff. Uh, and I'm like living it up in my fantastic moon base 1.0. Uh, I just keep like doing flyovers because I'm actually very happy with how this turned out. It's very nice. I like building, guys. Um, it's a lot of fun. Okay, Creeper Boss. Evolved Creeper Boss. He's out there somewhere. Will I be able to find him? I have no idea. Let's try it. Thank goodness, guys. Ugh. Been walking around here. Look how far away from the base I am. 5,000 meters. Been here for 20 minutes looking for this. Uh, the dungeon boss guy. Oh, these meteors. Oh, yeah. I also found that hilariously, as soon as I made my uh, Botania trinket, <laughs> apparently there was another trinket that works without uh, mana. So we're using that one now. <laughs> I don't know how dark it is down here. I don't, I've never done this before, so I'm kind of excited. Uh, apparently, it's the creepy, spooky moon boss. I don't know what he is. 
Uh, evolved creepers are literally evil. Uh, let's turn this down because I think I learned a lesson last time. I've been flying around super fast. Dungeon diving, dungeon diving, it's been so long! I'm just kidding. Ah! Ah, no, 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 no! You guys are evil. Like, they do so much damage when they explode. Go away. Hello? That's right. Back off, buddy. Woo! Jump scare. Did you all jump? No! No, 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 no! Ah! I don't want to go back there again! <laughs> uh. Oh, 5,000 blocks. See you all in another hour. I am so glad I saved this. I almost didn't even make the waypoint. If I hadn't done that, I probably would have just rage quit. Like, oh, you have no idea. It would have been the most epic rage quit of all time. Let's turn this down again. Uh, much too quick. Much too quick. Okay, I even removed it this time. So now it's no longer in my hot bar. Uh, here's where I was last time. Here's where I was going. I don't like this place. I don't know who you think you are, buddy. Stop it! I'm invincible except for against creepers. Also, now I'm getting all this crap in my inventory. Uh, please, I just want to fight the boss. I don't want... This is literally the worst. <laughs> Go away! I don't want to be in your fan club! Oh no, this place is huge. Oh wait! Uh, boss despawn, don't leave. Oh, so you can't really cheese him. I thought I was facing... Are you dead? Oh my god. What the heck? Nightmare fuel. I thought I was facing the creeper boss. Well, that wasn't horrifying at all. Good luck going to sleep tonight, guys. Uh, because I know I'll have issues. Holy crap. Well, you're in freaking luck because I have one. I just got one. I'm about to flip out. What happened to it? Is the key in my inventory? Oh, it's right there. It's just so small. <laughs> dungeon diver, dungeon diver. Do 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 do. Da na 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 na. Sorry, I'm a little excited. Uh, yes, please. Also, you could have all this crap you get me. All the dismembered pieces of your fan club uh, guys I hope you're ready because this episode we're going to Mars kids okay no uh, cool cool let's go let's get the heck out of here immersive base it's time it's time to go to Mars we just made it to the moon guys I'm gonna build a base on Mars the sky is doing something really really weird uh, what the heck was that Okay, cool. So I just like right click the schematics. I've got the schematics. That's not how it goes. Why is the sky. Oh, it's probably because of the trinket. So the sky's going crazy. Guys, let's go to Mars. Uh, I should probably quit just throwing stuff around, but I keep misclicking. Uh, let's get this going. Are you guys still doing good? Oh, yeah. We're doing good, our Nexus! 
Thank you. That's what I like to hear. That's progress. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how do we do this? I've never been to Mars before. Do I just need to get the blueprints and I will be able to make it? Otherwise, maybe I can't. What the heck's an astro miner? What? Did you see that? Does it mine asteroids? Whoa. What is this? Mm, it requires a bunch of weird stuff. Okay, well, I can't make that yet. Pretty close. Uh, well, look at this army. It, like, glows. Tier 2 rocket needs... Oh, boy. Look at all this fantastic stuff. Uh, pretty much the same as the last ones. And... Compressed meteorologic... I have some. How much do I need? Uh, here. Good luck. Uh, that's 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, good deal. Also, nah, I need a lot more. Shoot. This thing is so slow. I need to bring my, uh, trinket thing back here. Hello? Okay, well, whatever. I need to, uh, go back and get some more things anyway. I need to get my watch thingy. I need to come back here. I need to make a ton more alloys. Uh, oh, here we go, tier two rocket, the heck was that, <laughs> I have no idea what that was, why are sparkles coming out of my head, also apparently I have to do it all at once, it's kind of like uh, unstable ingots, okay, be back in a flash, that's not a flash. Okay, let's see if this thing works, shall we? Uh, no, it just totally just said nope, nope, nope. Well, I'm very sad. Or maybe it will work. I just need to, uh, make it. Or is it working so fast? No, it just broke. Here. I will give you more juice. Let me know if this works. <laughs> there we go! That's what I'm talking about! Before. After. Being the power of time. This thing is amazing. I am so glad I made this. It made enchanting my gear super easy. It made getting new dimensions easy. Oh, it's just a... Just a... Wonderful, beautiful thing. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, so good. Cool. Uh, now what do I need? Now that that was easily taken care of. Saved me a ton of time. It did, it did. Uh, I need tier one boosters. So let's teach it how to make those. Uh, let's just throw it in a random slot. Maybe. I cannot believe all these are full. This is stupid. So many crafting recipes in another dimension. Oh. Oh, I can't believe it, guys. Uh, booster. Do I have enough material? No, of course not. I need yellow wool. Because I like coating the top of my boosters with yellow wool. That is so stupid. You know, that's a stupid. Your logic, game. Your logic is stupid. I just want to go to the moon, but now I'm stuck here with you. <laughs> well, this was supposed to be a nice dimension. I want to go to space. I hate this planet. Uh, okay. Space. Go to space. Um, uh -huh. That's right. Stupid. What a waste of my life. Don't even talk to me, game. Just, just don't. Here, you stupid yellow. <laughs> I need to calm down again, guys. I'm getting pretty, pretty pumped. Stupid! <laughs> Space! Okay, uh, booster. I need a fuel canister. I didn't teach you how to make fuel canisters! Oh my goodness! No, I just, I just want to make the fuel canister. Uh, thank you. Or maybe I already did. Uh, 
Oh wait, I need two of those. Shouldn't be a thing. And then I think we're ready, guys. We're ready for uh, round two. This time we're going to Mars. Let me fuel this sucker up real quick. Uh, let me fuel this sucker up real quick. How do I fuel this sucker up real quick? I'm going to have to go back home and go to my fluid transposer, aren't I? Or actually, I'm probably going to have to make another one. Or bring it here. One of the two. Uh, I can make one, apparently. I think it was the fluid transposer. Or was it something else? Are you fluiding up? Uh, I would like to fill it, please. Maybe it needs juice. Is that what it is? You want juice? <laughs> Fine. I'll give you juice. There. Is it working? No. You worthless piece of crap. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make fun of you. See, guys, I know what I'm doing. I'm all over it. Uh, fluid transposer. This goes here. This goes here. And I think we're ready. For real this time. We're ready. Dang it! Ah! Ah! I thought that crashed my game for a second. The reason I'm so worried about it crashing my game is because it has quite often and it always probably will. Okay, so now we're ready for the tier two. I forgot the rocket. Screw my life. Everything's all over the floor now. It's like I just drop it all on the ground. Like, oh my god, I forgot a component. Drops. Volatile rocket parts. All over the place. Stupid. <laughs> okay, here we go. I hope you guys are ready for the next frontier because I've never been to Mars before. I hope it's exciting. Uh, also, what did I do with my uh, launch pad? I'll just make some more. Uh, let's just... Thank you. Here we go. Round two. Uh, boom! Tier 2 rocket. Even bigger than the last one. Is it filled? 